explain why my channel got taken down, and that's exactly what I'm gonna do. So be prepared for a huge rant slash story time. <laughs> Hello everybody, how are you guys doing? What? Now I thought for sure if there's going to be anybody that understands me and understands my pain and understands just my overall mental health, it has to be my following, my followers, people that follow me and just love me and love my content, right? So I decided that I am going to, you know, organize my thoughts and come on here and just kind of vent and, you know, speak to you all and tell you guys about this entire situation, okay? And, you know, if it's annoying, I'm sorry. I just kind of, I have to vent okay one day i woke up after i was going through some stuff and you know became a single parent i didn't know what to do i was lost i was confused like you know me and my child's father wasn't you know together he wasn't going to necessarily help me concerning my child i just was at a very dark place and i decided hey i'm going to be a youtuber it came overnight i i don't know what like you know what happened the universe came together and decided that i was going to be a youtuber so then i decided that i'm going to be a youtuber so i decided to you know build up a channel now i I'm gonna, not going to lie to y'all. I did not know anything at all about creating a YouTube channel. I was so lost. But you know what? I learned. I went online. I did the research. I learned and I figured out, y'all, how to be a YouTuber. I found out editing. I got apps. I got, you know, thumbnails. I got it all together, okay? I figured it all out. And I'm like, you know what? I'm going to figure out how to be the best YouTuber that I can be. I'm going to learn this trade and I'm going to be awesome at it. I became like really, really good at it. You know, editing and everything. I had about 29K subscribers on YouTube. This was like a huge, huge thing for me, right? And I've been hearing different things going around about censorship. I've been hearing different things going around about racism. I've been hearing different things about bullying. I've been, you know, hearing different things from other content creators. I would say my peers who have said to me that, hey, YouTube does not play fair. You know, don't invest a lot of your time into YouTube because they don't care about their black content creators. And I, I don't know. I was just in denial. Like, no, YouTube cares. YouTube cares. Blah, blah, blah. And that was my fault. That was my bad because God definitely slapped me dead up in my face for having these beliefs about youtube because youtube definitely showed me that yeah we don't give a f about you 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 or the color of your skin we don't care about y'all and the work that you put in child it's crazy okay let me tell you guys what happened so let's just say this is video one right i'm not gonna get into the details of it video one is just what i'm gonna call it i posted a video video one so this video didn't get a lot of traction. I would say it got about like 600 views. So I posted it video one. When I posted this video, it didn't do that much like I said. Um, and it was just like a short clip, right? So because that clip, you know, wasn't a big deal and it didn't do that much, I didn't think nothing of it. I created another video, which is video two. Now this video was much bigger and it was about a different topic and it kind of talked about similar things like video one. However, it wasn't like a long drawn out clip. <laughs> it was like, you know what I'm saying? The second video was drawn out, but the first video wasn't. So I just included a clip of the first video into my second video, right? Okay. I received a warning from YouTube and YouTube said, hey, your first video clip cannot be included in your second video clip allegedly however the first video clip did not get a warning didn't get anything so i didn't think anything of it they were like yeah your second video clip is the problem the second video clip contains the clip from the first video clip and you know that nothing got taken down the po a policy wasn't broken no nothing so how come one video can be a problem and another video not a problem when they're they're, they're literally the same clip I, I don't understand right but you know i didn't even say that to them i didn't even want to argue with them i didn't want to go through the back and forth you know because i really just respected and you know loved my youtube platform so i was like you know i'm not even going to argue with them i'm just going to go back at that video cut out the clip and re-upload the video because obviously they don't want the clip whatever i'm going to take the clip out do you know that I got my entire YouTube channel deleted for just having, th like, just re-uploading re the video? Not a lot of people will be able to stand strong in the face of all of this. Now, this is what they said. They said, we have reviewed your content and found severe or repeated, now repeated meaning more than one, violations of our sex and nudity policy. That my channel had been terminated because I had violated the YouTube community um, guidelines on sexual content or nudity and 
I didn't know what to do. Because of this, we have removed your channel from YouTube. And the rest is like standard, right? It's the whole, we know this is probably upsetting news, but it's our job to make sure that YouTube is, sa is a safe place um, for all. If we think a channel severely violates our policies, we take it down to protect our users on the platform. But if you believe that we've made the wrong call, you can appeal this decision. You'll find more information about the policy in question and how to submit an appeal below. I honestly was in shock. I still am. I don't think that I fully accepted that my channel is gone. I had 1,728 subscribers at the time that it got deleted. Gone. All gone. Just like that. Literally, completely gone. Non-existent. So I'm like, oh my God, what is going on? How can I get my entire YouTube channel deleted for re-uploading this video? Especially since I took the said clip that they had a problem with. And I took the clip out. So like, and then I started thinking in my mind, like, okay, it's repeated. They're saying repeated. I got stuck on that repeated word, repeated, repeated. So I'm over here like, okay, so they give me a warning. And then when they give me a warning, I cut out the clip and upload it. And then my entire channel gets taken down for repeated. So what makes it repeated? I'm, I'm confused. And then I started thinking like, oh, well, maybe it's because I had post the first clip. Um, but if that's the case, then how come they didn't give me a warning for that clip? Um, and then I would have known not to post the second clip um, in a big video. They gave me no warning for the first clip. They gave me a warning for the second clip. And then when I edited and took it out and uploaded the third video, um, not, you know, all of a sudden my channel gets taken out. It was all confusing to me. It made no sense. And I'm just like so disturbed. So I reached out and I appealed it. I was like, hey, I'm going to appeal because i felt like the algorithm did it yep i'm like in my mind the algorithm had to have done it maybe the algorithm felt like you know the second video video two was the same clip like algorithm no it's not you know it's not the same clip i already i edited the video and i took the clip out i literally just spammed team youtube and i sent the appeal i said this is unacceptable i need a clear answer as to why so when i appealed my appeal got rejected and this is the reason why they said that hey we are upset with you because of video two the appeal is rejected because we had a problem with it now i would like to get specific about what is being said because i don't want it to be like a mix of words or any of that okay so specifically this is what the letter said the letter said we have reviewed your appeal for the following drake ruined another relationship we reviewed your content carefully and have confirmed that it violates our sex and nudity policy we know this is probably disappointing news but it's our job to make sure that youtube is safe for all right now mind you i uploaded the first video i'm calling that video one nobody flagged it nothing this is the same exact clip that i included in a bulk of, like in a big video right in a whole nother video right they're saying that they're upset about video two which is the bulk of the video not the original video which included the clip completely by itself so the clip by itself is fine to be up on youtube however the clip in a big video you know is um completely a flag and it's a warning right and then i uploaded the like third video to which it had nothing inappropriate in it and they completely took down my channel but then said it's not because of that third video even though it states that it was a repeated attempt it's not because of that third video however it is because of the second video why oh it's because of the second video because the second video um um had that clip in it but the first video had the clip completely by itself and got nothing no violation no warning no flag no nothing I, like what i went to click on the sunless tanning routine and a little box popped up and said i couldn't view the video anymore and that the account that i was trying to watch was suspended and so i was like hmm Hmm. But then I'm like, well, you gave me a warning for that clip. So why give me a warning for a clip if I'm only just going to get my YouTube channel completely deleted? Like, it, it just didn't make any sense to me. I was so confused. I was like, okay, but y'all gave me a warning. They're like, yeah, it doesn't matter. You know, in that instance, you had a violation. So yeah, we gave you a warning, but we also decided to de delete your entire YouTube channel because of it. And I'm like, that doesn't make any sense. And the clips, the said clip, even though I did not a appeal that clip, was also included two weeks ahead of time and you guys saw no problem with it i didn't get a flag i didn't get a violation i got nothing and then i also <laughs> i told them furthermore other content creators have shared this sub clip they share this they share this how come these content creators who have shared these clips their channel is not deleted their, their channel they don't have no violations no nothing 
YouTube said that I have to stop reaching out to them about the same exact issue because they have already told me that they have made their decision. Um, and, you know, my YouTube channel got deleted, completely deleted. Um, they're not going to give me no conversation, no nothing about it. And I want to give you guys the words verbatim that I'm receiving it. OK, so this is the message that I got. They say, hello, Morgatha, which is my government name. They say, thanks for your time to reach out. I hope you and your loved ones are safe and well. Um, and they, this message is from Dominic. So it says, this is Dominic. I'm a manager from the YouTube support experience team. I'm reaching out in regards to your conversation with our creator support. I can sense how difficult this can be for you when your channel is removed um, on YouTube and your appeal was not approved. You've spoken with some of our support agents to further dispute this decision. I've been passionate about my profession as a YouTube expert for the past three years and helping our creators like you give me meaning to this role. I'd love to share every circumstantial detail regarding your situation. Your YouTube channel was removed on YouTube due to repetitive or severe violations of our community guidelines regarding nudity and sexual content. Explicit content meant to be sexually gratifying is not allowed on YouTube. Here are some examples of content that's not allowed. Know that this list is not exhaustive. Clips exaggerated from non-pornographic films, shows, or other content in order to isolate sexual content, real world or artistic, groping, kissing, um, public masturbation, upskirting, voyeurism, um, predatory exhibitationism, or any other content that deflicts um, someone in a sexual manner without their consent, consent that deflicts sexual acts, behaviors, or sex toys that's meant for um, sexual gratification. You've appealed the action taken on your channel on YouTube Studio. While we appreciate your efforts to maintain compliance with our community guidelines, a human reviewer third re-evaluated your content um, and determined that it violates our policies. So then I asked, I was like, okay, well, am I allowed to create another channel? Am I allowed to rebuild, start all over new? Maybe I can, you know, show you guys that I can follow policy since you feel as though that I'm not following policy. They said no, because it's counted as circumvention that YouTubers are not allowed to recreate or create another YouTube channel. And I found this to be slightly baloney just because I found a list of different content creators who have restarted their channel and build it much bigger and better than they have before. Asalaamu Alaikum guys, welcome to my new channel, Hangout with Kashif. I am so excited that I've got a second channel because during that period when my channel, this channel was off, I had to, I, had, I just had to start another channel so that I could get my mind and body soul together. If you're watching this and you aren't familiar with my old YouTube channel, it was just the same name that I have right now. So now I say I felt as though that they were in some way somehow picking on me or I was being pointed out or something because this absolutely made no sense for me. But this is the reality of it. I just want to let you content creators know, let this be a cautionary tale to you all that you go on these different different platforms, be it Twitter, be it TikTok, be it YouTube, be it any platforms, any you're building their brand. You are helping them build on their channel. You are helping their, their um, pages. You are helping build their platform. You don't own anything. So at any point, for any reason, they can just decide that they don't like you on their platform and they're going to you know, completely delete your page, delete, take everything away. So I think I've had to learn that. Um, this is a part of my journey. And I felt like I wanted to share that with a lot of you all. You want to create a platform. You want to create content. You want to create your channel. You want to do all of these things. That's great. Just know that at any point, if you do it on YouTube, TikTok, blah, 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 they can definitely completely take away your, your channel, your, your page, whatever. They can just decide randomly. We'd like to inform you that due to repeated or severe violations of our community guidelines, your YouTube account, Courtney McHale, has been suspended. This email, the email you're seeing right now, that I, Razorblade Mango, am doing some horrible fucked up shit on my channel that would require YouTube to terminate my entire channel.
my channel got terminated and one of the reasons why it got terminated was because of you know the sexual content or on nudity so i'm learning now about creating websites or having your own having something that is just yours because these big platforms give you a voice but then they want to alter your voice tell you how to speak you know how and especially being a person of color there are certain things that you cannot do on these different platforms that they just don't and and it's not even certain things anything you know anything when they if they just get up that day a person that's you know on youtube making the laws or whatever or the algorithm just decides that you are against the law they can take down your entire platform youtube is not support team is not going to discuss anymore after they made their decision even though you point out different flaws within the decision that's being made they do not care i received this message from youtube right and remember my name is morgatha youtube said hi morgatha thank you for your email i understand that you have additional questions about the decision because you know i keep pushing them for you know response right so they go let me share with you the following information about your channel termination they go upon checking the account has been terminated due to multiple or severe violations of YouTube's policy on nudity and sexual content. You may check the reasons channels or accounts was terminated, um, can, can be terminated, right? It goes repeated violations of the community guidelines or terms of service across any forms of contents like um, repeated posting, abusive, hateful, and or harassing videos or comments. Um, a single case or severe um, of, of, severe, of severe abuse such as predatory behavior spam um, or you know pornographic um, you know dedication to a policy violation like hate speech harassment or you know impres impersonation um, and then she says whether it is repeated violation or if there is a single case or even just one instance that is deemed as a severe case of violation of the community guidelines, it can lead to channel termination. Now, mind you, we're talking about this specific instance, a specific case, right? I had posted this clip, like I told you guys earlier, two weeks in advance and it had no violation. So how is it so now, oh, we can just pick an instance or a, you know we it doesn't matter that it wasn't a violation we decided today that it's a violation so it's a violation is basically what she was trying to say i just wanted to read that to you guys so you guys can see and understand what i'm saying that youtube does not care about its content creators build your own people We'd like to inform you that due to repeated or severe violations of our community guidelines, your YouTube account, Razorblade Mango, has been suspended. After review, we determined that activity in your account violated our community guidelines, which prohibit spam, scams, or commercially deceptive content. Please be aware that you are prohibited from accessing, possessing, or creating any other YouTube accounts. So, I, I looked at that and I just went, what? They don't care. In fact, I remember um, somebody told me that you are not the first person to get their chat, your stuff deleted. You're not the first, you know, other words, we've been doing this for a minute. You're going to be just fine. They said, hi, Morgatha. Thanks for your prompt response. Thank you for appreciating my help, too. Though I can't do anything at this moment, as it looks like the decision is final and cannot be overturned, just to share this is a precaution for all of our creators to protect our predatory detection system. I wish I could do more, my friend. It is just that this is out of my control already. I just wanted to share this with you that you are not the only creator who experiences this issue with their monetization um there are other channels who also experience the same so don't be too hard on yourself my friend this doesn't mean that you are less please know that that we've exhausted all of our resources to make sure that we get to consider all options available and provide you with the best that we can. We hope you still appreciate our help even though the appeal is not in our favor. Um, we wish all the best for your future career. Remember, the YouTube Creator Support Team is here willing to guide our partners to the right information. We are your YouTube buddies. I've seen other content creators in my niche that create this kind of content. Um, they've been on this space for the past five years and they don't even go as much as bleeping words or 
you know, just being careful. There are so many channels out there that post bad stuff and inappropriate content where they get their channel taken down, they appeal, and somehow YouTube decides to give them their channel back. Yeah, that, that wasn't the case for me. Now, I brought this clip in here because that was my point, right? So my point was, I've seen a lot of other people, a lot of other content creators do this to where they have way worse content posted up. They ain't, ain't even covering parts, no nothing. They just being as vulgar as possible and posting things that they shouldn't be posting. And it's okay. Like, it's okay. They don't have no, you know, no nothing. It's, it's fine. Um, YouTube don't flag them. Don't take down their videos. No nothing. Like, it's all sweet. They don't say nothing, right? And this was the response I got when I brought this to YouTube's attention. Now, they said, um, I wish I could assist you further in the reinstatement of your channel. I'm a human specialist from our policy team um, already reevaluated your content and confirmed that it violates our policies. Our decision is based on a thorough a thorough review of your content against our guidelines and it's not relevant to how other um, channels operate so it's not relevant to how other channels operate so in other words yeah this was just for the guidelines is just for your video it's not relevant to other content creators they have a whole nother policy that they follow that's how i took it if i'm wrong y'all let me know in the comments but yeah so they continue they say there are different ways for you to report any content that you feel um that's inappropriate on YouTube platform um, you may follow the steps in this article um, and then they you know show me the article and then they say we rely on YouTube community members to report or flag content that they find um, uh, inappropriate reporting content is anonymous so other users can't tell who you know made the report um, when something is reported, it's not automatically taken down. Reported content is reviewed along the following guidelines. Content that violates our community guidelines is removed from YouTube. Content that may not be appropriate for younger audiences may um, be age restricted. To check the status of um, a video you reported, visit our report history, learn more about your report history first and foremost i would never ever report another content creator's platform i would honestly like to appeal to people who go about flagging people's um videos or flagging people or reporting people's um content um you don't understand the devastating position you put you know content creators like us especially those who depend on youtube for their source of income or for their monies or for their daily bread you don't know the trauma that you put people through. Um, me bringing up content creators that do this and never, you know, because I did definitely let them know that they have other people that have done this and their channel is still up instead of addressing that. They just, you know, basically said their rules are different from your rules and basically follow your own rules. And, you know, we're, we're, so what? So, so what <laughs> is basically what I received. Um, and I just kind of wanted to point that out because to me that that was just like, oh, for real. Like I, and then you well, you can report that like, no, I'm not I'm not going to do you guys' job for you. I'm not going to no, that's not absolutely not. And I'm not going to make anybody else go through what I'm going through. So it, it just was crazy that that was the response because they got caught with their pants down. So they, you know, couldn't say anything. All they said was, well, um, they're basically their law, their rules or whatever does not pertain to you and you know everything is different if you feel some type of way report their content which i would never do when finally team youtube decided to come down off of its mount olympus throne and grace the common people grace the present the peasants with its presence they gave me this bullshit reasoning that said thanks for the screenshot the email provides the reason for your channel suspension if you think this happened in error you can appeal here also you can learn about our spam policies here hope this gets resolved soon which, to be fair, I'm pretty sure that's just a bot. But still, it's just, it's such a condescending little, little thing that to say, the re the email provides you a reason for your channel suspension. No, it didn't. No, it didn't. Because saying that I got terminated because of spam, scams, or deceptive behavior is a complete blanket statement. That, that could literally mean anything. So I explained to them, hey, I got a warning for a video and then I got my channel deleted for that same video. Why get a warning if you guys wasn't going to allow me to show you that, hey, you know, moving forward, I could do better or that everything is going to be good in the future. You, you know, just give me a warning and then take my channel down for the same video. The warning was irrelevant to me because why would you give me a warning just to take the video down for the same for the same one video? Because they expressed that regard 
regardless if it was a one instance yes we gave you a warning and yes we took down your channel after giving you a warning and we could do that because we're big bad youtube um, and we could do whatever we want basically i, I want somebody on youtube I, this is what i really wanted i wanted somebody on youtube to personally get in contact with me and go through my history on this channel and let me know where specifically i have been promoting scams spam or deceptive behavior I have never said I have never ever promoted any kind of scam or or deceived people into thinking I was cheating them out of out of money or anything like that. I did literally nothing wrong, and yet YouTube decided to terminate my channel. What would have happened if they hadn't looked at my appeal? If that appeal had taken a week, a month, forever? If they just willy nilly decided that I had been doing something wrong? And this was their answer. And again, I'm pretty sure this is a bot, but still, they said we can't provide specifics as this can benefit those who are not playing by the rules. We recommend going over the resource we've sent about our spam policy to no more. Also, we review appeals 24-7, but due to COVID-19, responses can be delayed. Hope you hear back soon. I don't understand what this even means. What does this mean you can't provide specifics as to that benefits those who are not playing by the rules? Wouldn't those who actually are playing by the rules, wouldn't they like to know the specifics as to what they could get banned for? That's like saying, oh, I'm going to sue you. Why, why are you suing me? I don't know. I can't get into the specifics of that because it benefits those who are not playing by the rules. That's the dumbest, that's, that's a terrible explanation. That, that is nonsense. And then, of course, they have to go into the, oh, we recommend going over the resource we've set about our spam policy, which is literally just a video about them going over their spam policy, which tells me nothing as to why my channel got terminated overnight. That's ridiculous. That's basically what they were saying to me. And I'm like, I built this for like three years. Like I've worked really, really hard at this. I'm, you know, and I'm, I'm a mother, you know, I'm a college student now. Like a lot has changed for me and I've tried really hard. So just forget it. Basically F you forget it. So I, I just kind of wanted to vent and tell you guys, you own nothing. Um, if you create, you know, different things on these different platforms, you they they push this. And, oh, we want you know the regular people can be big on YouTube or TikTok or do 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 do. The you know we want the regular people. We want people to feel like they have a voice, and we want the regular person to. They don't push the regular person. They don't push creativity. They're, they're not pushing. They say it, but at any point, they can just take away everything you worked for. Being the dumb girl I am, I did not save any of my videos. In my head, I was thinking, oh, YouTube is a platform that's just going to save all my videos, and they'll be there forever, so why would I waste memory on my phone or my camera or my SD card when I can just put it on YouTube and then delete it off of everything else I have? No, that was extremely stupid of me. Because of a perceived mistake, a perceived issue, and they're not even trying to talk the issue out. They're not trying to take a second look at it or listen to you when you say, hey, this sounds kind of weird. This doesn't make any sense. They don't care. It's F you, F your platform, F what you're saying, and you're not the first one and we'll keep doing it as like as policy changes or whatever. They change policy at as a drop of a hat. I got a second email after I sent them that appeal form, and this is what the second email said. Hello, thank you for your account suspension appeal. We have decided to keep your account suspended based on our community guidelines and terms of service. Sincerely, the YouTube team. I was actually kind of disappointed in YouTube when they sent me that. And something else I found crazy is they, they said that they re-evaluated my, what I was saying or re-evaluated my channel, which doesn't make any sense to me because I specifically send them a clip. I sent them a clip of the video that did not get monetized that has legit the same clip that nothing happened to. But then when I include it in a big video, you know, it's just one of the clips included it in the video it all of a sudden gets a warning or a violation but they didn't talk about that they just went to oh we reevaluated the same video that y'all gave me a warning on of course y'all gonna say it has a uh, oh, sexual content or y'all feel how you guys feel about it which doesn't make any sense because i posted the same video like a whole um early like two weeks earlier and y'all didn't say anything but now that y'all have you know flagged this said it was inappropriate or whatever you're gonna keep watching that same video and saying well you violated well you violated well you violated which is dumb to me and i i don't even think that they care to hear that part of it they just said well based off of that video so all your hard work and everything because we just decided that that video two weeks ago it wasn't wrong but now it's wrong and we're gonna keep watching it and deem your channel as being inappropriate because of that and your entire YouTube channel is going to get taken down, which makes no sense. But there are a few videos that I'm like really upset that they're gone because they were vlogs where I was documenting my vacation and documenting like fun times that I spent with my family and my boyfriend. And now I don't have any of those and it just it sucks. 
entire stuff. And I think that's what's bothering me about this entire situation. I had a video of my aunt who died from cancer. And I had spoke about it very deeply on my YouTube channel. Explain how it hurt me. Explain all that I went through, you know. Explain how heartbroken I was. A lot of the times when you upload your, you know, video on these content, like different platforms or whatever, you're putting a piece of your life that's like very in, like instrumental in your growth very you know dear to your heart and you'll never ever get that back i will never ever get that video back to where i spoke about my aunt on um, when she died from cancer and how i felt and how heartbroken i was and how much like that really killed me i will never ever get that back and they're just oh we deleted your channel because you follow you know violated policy so bye like it's just so heartbreaking because it's deeper than just oh you violated policy you know what i'm saying if you guys created a way that content creators can still maintain their platform or still maintain pieces of their videos or all of their videos god damn it you know what i'm saying even just oh it, the the page can just never go public but you still have access to it if even if it was that that'll be better but the fact is you lose so much hard work so much deep like instrumental moments in your life you know but they just completely deleted and goes well you violated policy so bye bye like and then they can decide whenever you violate a policy like i said i had the clip two weeks prior it wasn't a violation all of a sudden now it's a violation and i had like a bunch of different like videos you know i remember like the first time me going into college different videos about that like so much deep moments in my life that i documented because i trusted youtube with that information trusted that i could be able to have that or gain access to that however i feel so 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 betrayed and i feel like hey they took you know promised me all of this you know i i was promised this oh you, you're gonna be an independent artist you know art this is artistic you have to learn video editing you know they promise you the moon and stars but then when you start saying or speaking your mind or you know what i'm saying or even when you start growing because i never had this problem when i only had a couple of subscribers it wasn't until i started getting up in numbers all of a sudden now the censorship starts oh you can't say this you can't say that you know and all of this you know different treatment for african-american content creators they make it hard for you you know and it's all bs it's all baloney we all face it um of, like in different ways but i just hated that once i start to grow then they start to like push me down they just decided to take it down because i was being such a horrible person and I had such an awful channel. I was promoting positivity. It's just ridiculous to me that they do this to their creators that aren't doing anything bad. I even had a video on my channel that was titled, You Are Loved. It's like anything and everyone else. When you're at the down level, it's cool. You know, you're not getting up there. You, we don't see you as a threat. But as soon as you start doing good, as soon as you start, you know, people start listening to you, then, ooh, oh, no, no, no. People start, you know, flagging your stuff. People start talking about you. Oh, you have to, we have to shut this girl up. We have to shut this person up because this can go for you too, watching this video. When your voice gets too, you know, loud and you start growing too much, they shut you up and they take away every chance you get of growing. So all of that independency that you're being promised when you first start coming, oh, you know, the, this is for the average, the regular person. They don't care about none of that once you start really growing if you stay small that you're the best friend you're great you're absolutely fabulous but once you start growing and they see the numbers are coming up people care about you and care about what you have to say then the censorship starts and this is just so heartbreaking after review we determined the activity in your account violated our community guidelines and then all of a sudden it only goes to certain people like this person you know you could do whatever that person like they don't care is all I'm saying. And this situation definitely proved to me. I don't know if this censorship. I don't know what this is. I don't know. But I just thought that I'd come up on here and vent to you guys. And I love y'all so much. And thank you so much for taking your time out to listen to this. Bye-bye. The first thing that I had to do was to call my pastor. <laughs> to call my pastor. And he prayed. We prayed. And to be honest with you, I was scared. I was down to zero. You know, and I just started making money on YouTube. Like, how does this even happen to anyone?